along the front. That is, those that weren't taken prisoner. They remain. Not so long ago, the Duce was waving a sword about in Libya. It was a celebration. The great man had opened the new coast road along the Mediterranean, which was regarded by the Wops as a great strategic highway leading to Egypt. Only, of course, they didn't say so openly. Now, alas, it seems that the British General Sir Archibald Wavell has upset all that, for under his leadership, the army of the Nile has steadily been reinforced and trained, and now, at the moment when the Italians are retreating before the Greeks, detachments from the army of the Nile have gone forward to attack the enemy and drive them back into Libya. Attack by land and air has been supported by the Royal Navy in the Mediterranean, which has repeated some of its former bombardments of Italian camps. A flank attack from the sea with naval artillery. After less than 50 hours, advance elements of our mechanized forces ashore had pushed through the Italian positions and cut off the enemy divisions attempting to hold Sidi Barani. In this preliminary advance on the western desert, our forces have been completely successful. The staff work was excellent and everything has gone according to plan. Thus, in yet another theatre of war, the Duce's men, both native and Italian, are on the run. Much material has already been taken. The official statement was that it hadn't been sorted out and counted. That sounds good, for it takes time to count a lot. As for prisoners, they can be counted by the tens of thousands, and there are more to follow. Thousands of prisoners, that's certainly good news and the best proof of our success, especially with at least three generals included in the capture. The Duce is still delighted. <laughs>